Hey, good Tuesday morning, everyone. This is Joe. Welcome to my scripture reflection for Tuesday, March the 21st. Hope you're doing well. We have been through the spring season officially, which is always a nice thing. Nice way to think that we are moving into a very beautiful and living, very living, life-giving time of year. So it's a nice thing to think about. I drove by the uh, nursery that's not far from my house and saw that they're starting to put out some flowers. All those things really do, do help us pick up our spirits, right? So to also pick up our spirits, let us quiet our minds and hearts as we prepare to hear today's gospel, which is from St. John chapter 5, verses 1 through 16. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool called in Hebrew Beth Bethesda, with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. And walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath, so the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is unlawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well, do not sin any more, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. So this man, who was crippled for 38 years, had to lay on a mat and be pulled around, basically, and that's how he was able to keep himself from the hard earth and elements, is, was his mat. So the mat was a symbol of his being ill. However, I find it interesting that when Jesus cured him, he tells him, pick up your mat and go. Take that mat with you. He doesn't tell him to roll it up and throw it in the garbage because now you don't need it anymore. He doesn't tell him to forget about the mat because it was a symbol of his illness and what crippled him. He tells him to take it with him. And for me, my friends, I take that as a very strong message that all of us have something that crippled us or cripples us currently, brings us illness, brings us infirmity. Could it be anxiety? Could it be depression? Could it be some kind of an addiction? Could it be some kind of a, you know, a way towards sinfulness, to a weakness of ourselves, whatever it might be? And what are we to do with that once we do conquer it and move away from it? We take it with us as the man in the gospel did? Well, I think the answer is absolutely we do. We do that for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, we always need to know where we're coming from. Never forget where we were. But more importantly than anything else, taking that mat of ours with us helps us to help others. It helps us to help others who are struggling with similar issues. Consider the person who suffered from addictions. They don't forget about it. They're able to tell stories. They're able to bring that mat with them, tell stories, relate to others, and then help them with their addiction issues as well. And that list goes on, doesn't it? When it comes to something like this, I believe that there's a very important spiritual component to it. We don't block these things out of our life. When we try to block them out of our life, well, they stay even more prevalent than ever before. We let them kind of pass through us. 
They stay with us. They're never anything that is not part of us, but they at least pass through the positive parts of us, the soul part of us, but we keep them with us as a reminder of who we were, who we are, and who we can help. So my friends, today I ask you to consider taking up your mat, bringing it with you. Don't be ashamed of it. Use it for the betterment of others in the world. Well, my friends, that's my message for you today. I hope it was helpful as always. I hope you can take it into your day and share it with others. As always, I welcome your comments, your thoughts, your feedback. I look forward to interacting with you on the comments. This afternoon, once again, I will be posting in my YouTube channel a St. Mark Reflection from Chapter 8 of St. Mark. I hope you are going to follow me there as well. Looking forward to some big changes coming on my website, announcing them pretty soon. But for now, I wish you all a wonderful Tuesday, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care, everyone.